I'm in the RS lab today checking out some faulty Raspberry Pi customer returns. Just recently we've noticed an increase in the number of reports where customers have had problems saying that their Pi won't boot. Now we're fairly confident that most of these cases are down to the change in manufacture of the Pi. The Pi has moved from a Samsung chip to a Hynix chip. So the, although the items look identical, and we've got two just sort of placed in front of me here on the bench, so two Pis, on the left we've got one using a Samsung chip, on the right we've got one using the Hynix chip, clearly you can't see it because of the level of magnification of the iPhone that I'm using to record this, but the key point is, if you check the chip, and it's got Samsung written on it, look at the other one, it's got Hynix written on it, the older operating system, so the Raspbian Wheezy, which has been recommended for this unit for a long time, doesn't work on a Pi fitted with a Hynix chip. You really need to go and download the very latest version, which is available from the Raspberry Pi download section of the website. We've found that uh, the number of products that we've been receiving with reports as faulty has increased quite significantly. Um, the largest number that we've had in one single batch from a single customer was over 20 and every single one checked out okay when we put them on the bench and ran them up here. So something to be aware of and please before you actually return your Pi as being dead and no boot please check that you're running the latest version of the software and don't rely on either cards that you've purchased from places like eBay which could have an outdated software version on and don't rely on one that's been used in a Pi that's working before because the previous version probably won't work at all on a, a new version of Pi. The ones to look out for, any Pi that's uh, manufactured by RS and has got the serial number from 0513 onwards is one that's likely to be fitted with a Hynix chip so uh, please check that before you raise a return request.